Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Well, welcome to the Red Deer drainage area. Uh, we're up on a tiny creek where the very interesting study is taking place, looking at what bull trout eat and what competition they face from other species of fish within a stream. The study is being done by a uh, master's student at the University of Alberta. So the overarching uh, theme as our project is we're looking at bull trout and how they're responding to uh, influence of their invasive species or naturalized species, the brook trout and the brown trout. So we want to look at how they're competing uh, habitat-wise and how they're competing uh, dietary-wise and see what those introduced fish are doing to bull trout in the entire watershed. We're looking at streams where bull trout are abundant and brook trout and brown trout are either non-existent or in very low amounts and we do that for each species. This is territory that the bull trout are historically been there for and have always thrived there but we're, what we're seeing is their range is actually constricting. Uh, so they're just moving further and further west and further into your headwater streams where it's a lot colder and they're less present as you move downstream in the watershed. Uh, the bull trout are struggling here. It's not healthy at this point. Mostly a temperature, uh, the presence of brook trout and fragmentation. You look at the culvert upstream here, uh, there's a huge barrier. They can't move upstream, they can't move to their their spawning grounds, so how are they going to re reproduce and recolonize the stream? As for the rest of the watershed, it really depends which tributary you're in and what section. Uh, but overall, it's, you can't. The health of them of the system is is fine, but where the bull trout can thrive is just reducing. Well, I wish I could take credit for it, but I cannot. Um, Mark Posh, my supervisor, and Kelsey Cure, part of West Fraser, they've really been spearheading this and been trying to put it together for several years. And uh, they got me onto the project, and now I'm doing this as my master's. But it is definitely one of the first for the Eastern Slopes. There is work like this being done in the States, but although it's on their Eastern Slopes, it's completely different habitat. You really can't compare the two. By finding out what food they like and how they interact with brook trout and brown trout, we can decipher whether these introduced species are truly a risk for them. If they are truly competing for the same food source, or maybe they're partitioning food sources and they are happy to coexist together, but right now that's not really known in the eastern slopes. And if they are competing, then we can de determine which streams and which areas that we need to prioritize for bull trout uh, rehabilitation and maybe fisheries closures to see where is their core habitat. But in general, we're just seeing very few pockets of where bull trout are thriving and even where brown trout are thriving. We're really seeing that the brook trout are overpopulating in places that they previously weren't and struggling to find other spe fish species in the areas. Shed. So if you are uh, an avid fisherman or angler, knowing your fish species would be step one. So knowing if it's black, if there's no black, put it back for the bull trout. That's just the simple saying, or just doing your homework before you go out to know when you can fish, when there's fisheries closures. So this is the final year of the study and uh, hopefully we'll get some idea as to the health of these uh, bull trout in these tiny creeks and through that information have a better idea of what we all need to do to help protect bull trout here along the eastern slopes. From the Red Deer Drainage System, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Mm -hmm.